Wanna see something cool? I got more switches here than we had at Bowden's Brunch Munch at BoundCon. Snow! Snow! This is a bog standard industrial panel mount switch. Like the small tropical town of uncivil infrastructure nestled in the shadows of Mons Varenus, it's a complicated mechanism with a bunch of moving parts. There's a million different flavors and some look kinda weird, but they all pretty much work the same. Once you can figure out how to connect with one and turn it on, the rest of them start to make a lot more sense. So let's get our fingers in this, shall we? The parts you care about are the actuator, usually some form of button, knob, or lever, the main body housing, the contact blocks, and the terminals. This style is the most common, and the whole thing is held in place by this ring. This is what holds the body to the panel. It also holds the nameplate, and it's backed up by gaskets on the other side. On some, it holds the knob itself in place, but not always. Being able to figure out which is which is why we get paid the big money. See this groove? This is key. If you got lucky and the person who made the hole did it right, you'll have a corresponding tab in the hole and that keeps things nice and aligned. But the knockouts for those are phone sex expensive. You know, call for price and see how thoroughly you get fucked. So usually only the factory buys them. Half the time some millbilly playing Sparky had a hole hogging spree with a Christmas tree and cut out the key to make a cheap switch fit. What are you doing, step drill? And now you have to tighten it to damn near the Russian torque spec of broken of to stop it from spinning in the hole and it's still as cockeyed as Matahari. Like a lot of things, it gets way more interesting when you look at the backside. These are the contact blocks, and every major family has several flavors. You'll find normally open and normally closed, which do exactly what you think they do. There's also a moment tree, which goes back to wherever it once was when you let go. And you can even mix and match on most switches to have not just one block, but two or four or more, totally separate and even of different types. This rabbit hole of rabid nerdery goes deeper than when you discovered the Connections Museum YouTube channel, but once you wrap your brain around switches, you've just got the first step in learning about control systems. So now you've learned about two kinds of power exchange today, and that's pretty cool.